Yo, yo, checking in. Uh, look, I open Twitter. <sighs> Bunch of my mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they, fucking, I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it. Uh, and I seen, I seen the, the couple tweets about the doc. I, I'm, I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are. Okay, but the fact remains that. These are some crazy accusations, crazy, big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave the little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Have a nice day. this and it goes on with chris tyson saying me every time i post on twitter slash pos just you already know you already know what happened there bro like that obviously you're getting called out and shit then they take it one step further they go into the comment section homie says you should be ashamed of yourself leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend one day you'll wake up and realize what you've done chris tyson responds with You've got a habit of putting your garbage input in on a situation you have no knowledge of. Also, you and your friend have other things you should probably be discussing instead of making up false claims about me, girly pop. What the fuck does girly pop even mean? Anyways, completely irrelevant. Melanie Mack also commented on this. Men pretending to be women is creepy. I pray you find Jesus and can turn from the depravity. Who the fuck is this anyways? Moving forward, a former Mr. Beast cast member jake franklin jake the viking commented and quote to me nick merks let him know oh oh geez what does he know what what has been going on behind the scenes anyways let's let's really cut into this the conflict between nick merks and chris tyson a member of mr beast team seems to stem from broader social and cultural issues particularly around gender identity and public perception chris tyson who recently came out as transgender and has been open about her journey has received significant support from mr beast but has also faced a shit ton of criticism and conspiracy theories from various figures including controversial personalities like andrew tate uh here's a clip of andrew tate or excuse me here's a snippet of andrew tate uh, Andrew Tate accused Mr. Beast of using Chris's transition to promote an agenda, which he labeled as a psyop, to influence young audiences. This accusation reflects a broader skepticism and backlash against public figures supporting transgender rights and visibility. I'm not going to lie, I heard something about Disney, and that's the way the Disney, you know, secret underground cult society thing keeps people successful with, you know, children's blood and all that. It got really fucking creepy, bro. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. My mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Nick Merckx, while not directly involved in this specific incident, has made public statements that align with a segment of the gaming and online community um, who are very much resistant to any such changes uh, for trans rights and visibility. Uh, the broader context of resistance to social changes and the support from influential figures like Mr. Beast for Chris Tyson's journey has created tensions and sparked debates within these communities. Overall, this whole situation just illustrates the complexities and challenges faced by public figures navigating issues of identity and the varying reactions from their audiences and peers. Uh, the ones where you get judged by your peers the most every single day, bro. It's an ongoing battle. Morals, morals and ethics, morals, ethics, and laws, laws, law-abiding citizens. Every single day, someone is telling you why. And then someone else is telling you to question that why. And then someone is saying, why are we even saying why in the first place? Let's follow the status quo. What do you believe? Anyways, Nick's Merck, Nick Merck's based. Nick Merck's based. 